The Montreux Jazz Festival is an old tradition with a new environment. Channel 5's April Nelson is at Underground Atlanta right now where the festival is going strong. April? Jim, for six years the Montreux Jazz Festival has been held at Piedmont Park, but this year is being held at Underground Atlanta, its new home, and it was combined with several other events to make one big festival. I used to It began in 1988 as a local satellite of the Swiss Montreux Jazz Festival. Every Labor Day in Atlanta, thousands of people packed Piedmont Park for a tapestry of music. It included jazz, rock, rhythm and blues, gospel and country. But over the years, attendance at the festival has dwindled, so has artist participation and financial support. This year, city officials came together with Underground Atlanta to change things. We decided this year to combine forces to bring all of our money and budgets and sponsors together to produce the Montreux Festival. So instead of a two-day festival, now we have a four-day festival all underground. By combining events, money was saved, and financially strapped underground Atlanta is realizing a profit. It's been a bonanza for underground. We've had over 200,000 people starting Friday. Monday's been a great day so far, so we're very thrilled with the results. It costs you five dollars to get in. This event uh, wraps up the uh, four-day uh, festival at 9:30 tonight, and uh, performing blues guitarist Taj Mahal, also the king of Texas twang, is here. Delbert McClinton, Brenda, Jim, y'all coming? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds pretty interesting. The king of Texas oh, twang. Lots of activities going on throughout the Atlanta area on this Labor Day. Some people opted for rest and relaxation, which for some included a soothing raft ride down the Chattahoochee River. Those who wanted more company may have headed to Grant Park. Barbecuing was the favorite activity of choice for many. Other Atlantans, well, they chose a musical holiday. The Montreux Jazz Festival is an old tradition in Atlanta. For the past six years, people have packed Piedmont Park to enjoy the festival. But this year, the event was held at Underground Atlanta. Organizers hoping this year's four-day musical extravaganza will do better financially than it has in the past. Well, Labor Day was a day off for a lot of people.